welcome you all to my channel, Innovative Amazing Science. I believe and hope that you are doing great. So am I. Today, I'm here again to share another fun-loving experience of my childhood. So I still remember those summer months when uh, actually I belong uh, from a place where it is very hot. So during the summer days, so there was a table fan also and I was sleeping. Suddenly a thought came to my mind, if this fan is rotating and uh, if the motor is there and if we switch on uh, like uh, electric current, the fan rotates. So I thought, why can't we make something interesting? But I was too small uh, to create something by my own. So I took the help of my brother who was also inquisitive about all these things. So me and my brother started investigating and uh, we just uh, read some of the science books. Then we took the help of the class teacher, of course, and she helped us. And uh, of course, we tried to learn how you can make the motors easily. So today I'm here to share with everyone how you can make the electric motor with a very easy steps. I am super excited to share out my experience with everyone. Are you ready to do the same with me? Let's get started. So the things required are battery, two safety pins, copper wire, magnets, insulation tape, knife, pair of scissors. So my first step is, I'll take this copper wire and I'll just straighten this up. Okay, here I go, I've just straightened it. And I'm going to take this battery and I'll wind it around. I'll leave some portion of the copper wire and I'll just wind it up. And from this side also I leave some portions then I'll take this out and insert inside this and make a knot so one side of my copper wire is already in a knot then the same thing I'm going to do to the other end. I'll put it inside. And again, I'll make a knot. Once your knot is ready, you have to make sure that this, both the wires are opposite to each other. And this round copper wire, you can see it is kept like this and the wire are equally opposite to each other so my next step is I'll take this insulation tape and cut it little and keep it I'm just doing this so that it becomes easy for me to stick it later and I'll take this battery and this portion I'll fix it like this to the safety pin and this one also like this I'll hold it and then take this tape and try to fix the safety pin to it Yes, you have to fix it in such a way so that it sticks perfectly and you can see this is out. I have fixed it. You can see I have fixed both the safety pins to this battery. And my next step is I will take this uh, copper wire and I will try to put this in between 
okay and i'll measure this approximately to this safety pin and to the other side also and i'll cut it keeping some portions okay Okay, I've taken the measurement, so I'll cut it. Okay, some extra portion is out. And from this side also, I'll keep some extra and I'll cut it. Then what I'm going to do is, I will take this knife and try to scrape off the insulation which is there over the copper wires. I'll just scrape it off a little bit. Yes, see you can see it is coming out. Observe this carefully. I have just removed the insulation coating from one side and I'm going to do the same to the other side also. You have to be very careful when you're doing this so that you don't hurt your fingers. Yes, I have removed from this side also. Then I'm going to take this copper wire and I'll uh, try to insert this to both the holes of the safety pin from one side to this side and then I've inserted this, okay? Now you can see how I have inserted it. Then I'm going to take this magnet and just keep it at the center, okay? See, I have kept this magnet at the center and now you can see how it will start. Can you see? I'm not doing anything and how it is rotating. Can you see? It's lovely to see. Let's see. I'll just keep this, I'll take this and keep this over here. Mm -hmm. See, I'm not touching this at all. There's just the battery, magnet and the copper wire. Okay, let me just touch it a little bit. Okay, once I'll do it. Okay, in between just I'll tap it and see how fast it is moving. See, I'm not doing, see how fast it is going. Can you see? Lovely. I'm not touching at all. But how fast it is rotating. See, I'm not touching. My hand is here. Can you see how fast it is rotating? Neither I'm doing any magic. See? Yes. Lovely. Uh, let me do a closer view. Can you see? It's just rotating by its own. Only the battery, magnets and copper wire and it is rotating. And I, I'm not touching at all. This is so interesting. So what did we observe from this experiment? The current travels through the coil we created which is called the armature of the motor. This current induces a magnetic field in the coil which helps and explains why the coil spins. As we know that magnets have got two poles, north and the south. The north-south interaction stick together and the north-north and the south-south interaction repel each other. Because the magnetic field created by the current in the wire is not perpendicular to the magnetic tape to the battery, at least some part of the wire's magnetic field will repel and cause this coil to continue to spin. And once moving, the coil can continue to spin until the battery is dead. The reason that the magnet only spins in one direction is because spinning 
in the wrong direction will not cause the magnetic fields to repel each other, but it is going to attract. I hope you all understood the science behind this experiment. If you enjoyed the experiment, do like it and do not forget to press the bell icon which is right there on your screen. And if you want to share your experience to me, do put it in the comment section or do write a mail to me so that I can share your experience through an experiment in my upcoming videos. Still then, take care. Bye-bye.